are fighting people wrong. You see, Mo Yang themselves released the Combat Handbook, an official guide that claims to contain everything you need to defend yourself. But does it really? I mean, is this thing just a piece of junk, or will it contain the undiscovered secrets and strategies of Minecraft PvP? Let's find out. Now it turns out that the first step in mastering PvP is getting weapons, like a wood sword, stone sword, iron sword, gold sword, diamond sword. Not entirely sure why I needed all five of those, but um, a bow, arrow, lava, TNT, flint and steel, dispense. Okay, I kind of get what they're going for here, but I don't think it would be very helpful in a server-wide war. Because in just a few days, the end dimension is opening up for the first time, and the entire SMP is going to fight over it. Meaning that if I want to learn the secrets to PvP, I'm gonna have to do it quickly. And that iron armor is not going to cut it. So in accordance with the combat handbook, I went mining for a full set of diamonds. And because I'm really, really good at mining, I was able to get everything I needed in just... Two hours, that was painful. Next up, enchantments. And because time was running out, I couldn't afford to grind for a whole setup myself. But luckily, I knew the location of a base that would have exactly what I needed. Okay, we have arrived. However, it would be a dangerous mission to sneak past the players lying in wait. There was nobody there, and sometime later, I was fully enchanted. Everything was going fantastically, right up until... Tip, it's a good idea to keep a spare set of armor in your inventory, especially if you're playing PvP mode. That way, if your armor is destroyed, you can quickly replace it and get back into battle. And that's actually a pretty good idea, but there's, um, one slight problem. <laughs> okay, so what the fiddlestick is going on here? Well, this is a server called the Slots SMP, and every time you die, you lose an inventory slot. And because I had died, well, a few times, I just wouldn't be able to carry everything I want, unless I turn to violence. Because by killing a player, you can regain an inventory slot. So before the end fight, I was going to need to kill as many players as I could. But all of that made me realize... I haven't learned a single thing. Sure, I'd been geared up with some useful and some questionable items, but I had made no progress towards getting better. But finally, I turned the page to see... Player versus player, or PvP. It's a mode of multiplayer gameplay. Okay, okay, yeah, I, I know. All right, battle strategy. Here we go. An experienced warrior knows that battle is all about strategy. It's not just about blowing people up. It's about planning your actions in advance and using your brain to gain the upper hand. And how exactly do I do this? By crafting a map. Theoretically, this should help me keep track of my location and surroundings. Sprinting at your enemies and then hitting them, also known as sprint hitting, enables you to knock them back farther. Fill your entire hot bar with mushroom soup. Now that is positively ridiculous, like who would even- Okay, I'm still only gonna bring a few of these because of my goddamn inventory! I was beginning to realize that to even proceed at all, I would need more inventory slots. So even though I had a lot of the book left to go, I headed to spawn in search of conflict. I arrived and began to wait. And wait. And eventually, I accepted that nobody was showing up. Because the infight was the next day, everybody was holed up in their bases, just grinding for items thousands of blocks away. Meaning that if I wanted slot spaces, I would have to resort to... Okay, so you can craft slot spaces, they're just really, really expensive. And remember when I said I was really good at mining? I lied. In fact, after a painstaking hour and a half of excavation, I had enough to craft one slot space. Yeah. But wait, I can ask my teammates for slots. They, they ghosted me. And by this point, I was all out of time. So before departing for the stronghold, I read up on what the combat handbook had to say about the end. It recommends that I wear a pumpkin to the end fight as to not aggravate any endermen. Because clearly, the endermen are the biggest threat here. Not, you know, the army of players. Anyways, at this point, I just had to hope that I had learned enough to survive the end fight as my teammate and I were approaching the stronghold. Or at least we thought we were approaching the stronghold, but it turned out that we had gotten the coordinates very wrong. It is nowhere to be seen. So while the rest of the server entered the end, we were left frantically running around the surface. However, the reactions of the other players were very confusing. Welcome to the slots of the What the heck? What the? <laughs> what's up? What's happening? Obviously, something was off, but we had no idea what it was. Even as we reached the stronghold, nobody was telling us anything about what was going on. 
going on. But as this would be the best opportunity to kill players and free up my inventory, we had no choice but to jump in. Oh my god, it's all water! Holy bro! The end was completely flooded thanks to a group of players who had illegally entered early. This group was using Riptide Tridents combined with Depth Strider boots to move quickly throughout the water while everyone else floundered around like sitting ducks. And the funny thing about being in water is that you can't breathe. Bro, I gotta get to the edge. I'm fucking out of here. That's awful. Oh, this is terrible. So oh, no. Lack of air was forcing us to the surface, where there were players waiting to pick us off. I see everyone here. Someone's find a what? wither, bro. Our enemies had every advantage, and if I wanted to survive, I would have to do something drastic. In the chaos, I managed to slip away, and while running along the outskirts of the end, I came across a chest filled with blocks. With players being picked off one by one, I knew I would have one shot to get out of this alive, so I began to bridge. You gotta hurry, as soon as they kill Wilson, they're gonna find you. I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh shit, you're fucked, you're fucked. There's no way you're going fast. Oh, they killed the dragon. I think I'm out. I had escaped the fight, but my problems were far from over. I was running out of blocks. 1,000 blocks away from the main end, island lies the outer end, and I was exactly halfway between them. And even though I was trying to pick up blocks behind me, many were still falling into the void. <laughs> Wait, but I'm kind of slowly losing blocks. Bro, I'm, I'm down to like five dogs. Blocks. Oh. Ah! Oh, Damn it! You got three! <laughs> oh, okay, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping. With just two blocks remaining, I couldn't go any farther. I... was stuck. Let me completely shatter the mood here by asking you to subscribe! Editing that infight took like 12 years, so just come on. Okay, back to dramatic lore. Alone in the void, I had some time to think. For two entire days, nobody had come to save me. My own teammates, Lordfighter and Wilson, hadn't come. In fact, in the time I'd been stuck there, they had gone off to make a whole new base, one that they refused to even tell me the location of. Clearly, I wasn't wanted. They just didn't think I was good enough. But what's the point in learning the secrets to PvP if you don't intend to use them? I would get out of the end. I would complete my training. And then, I would kill my teammates. Also, help finally arrived! The absolute goat named PsycherMZ went out of his way to come and rescue me. I see you! I see you! Oh my god, oh I see my your god. face! But he didn't quite have enough blocks, so I would have to jump for it. Ah! I swear to god. Fuck that back right now, I swear to god. Psycho? Psycho, what the- <laughs> At long last, I could get out of the end. And now I can turn back to the actual point of the video. To get better at something, you obviously have to practice it. And the combat handbook actually told me to do exactly that. But if you log on to PvP servers to practice against other people, well, you're doing it wrong. Because the Mojang approved way to practice is to kill every mob in the game. Like zombies, skeletons, creepers, I mean, I guess this is training. Witches, endermen, supposed to use snowballs to kill blazes. And I'm out of snowballs and that's like nothing. Magma cube, pigment, wither skeletons. Ooh, rawr. Sorry, I don't, I don't know what that was. And to kill a ghast, I have to use a fishing rod. So I can just put it in my offhand and then hook onto a ghast. Let me hook you. Okay, I hooked onto it, and now I should be able to pull- OH MY GOD! That was actually, like, really effective. Okay. Just by using a fishing rod, I had been able to swiftly kill a mob that would otherwise be extremely difficult to kill. Which got me thinking, could this be it? Could this be the strategy that I was looking for? Okay, what if I used that, but, like, on player? I decided to save that strategy for when I betrayed my teammates, where hopefully it would give me a massive advantage. I also killed a villager, just because I felt like it. And now, all of the mobs were slain. But before I finished the last step of my trade, I needed to find the base that my teammates were hiding from. Me. That way, I could ambush them in their own home and get revenge as easy as pie. Or should I say, easy as die? 
I'm sorry. To find the base, I met up with a player named Sharkills. <laughs> I've been looking for Sword and Wilson's base for the past few days. I was, um... Uh, what is a That's oddly today? ominous. Oh my <laughs> Sharkills had a plan of how to find the base, but he couldn't do it without me. Do some lore thing with them. They leave, and I follow them back to their base. Okay, okay, how about this? I'll do it for free. I want to kill Slord and Wilson, and I want to betray them and backstab them, and I want you to help me. So... I'm in. And so the plan was set. I would convince Slord or Wilson to come to spawn, where Sharkills would invisibly follow them back to their base. But hold up, pause the video, is that a full inventory I see? Last I checked, I was desperate for slots. What happened? Well, in the least climactic turn of events ever, I just found a barrel full of slot spaces. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know who this is, but I'm not complaining. That's like almost my entire inventory. Anyways, Shark Kills was now in position, and Slord was arriving at spawn. Everything was ready. All we had to do was wait for him to go back to his base. Ah, oh, now it's time to log. Actually, no, now it's time to edit. That went so well. <laughs> <laughs> bro. I went to edit, bro. Nah. That went terribly, and this entire operation would have been over if Sharkills hadn't been recording with Replay Mod. That's a mod that YouTubers use to get third-person shots for videos, but we could use it to see the way that Slord had come from. I go like back before I. <gasps> oh. <gasps> On the nether the, room. On the nether room. And after retracing his steps, we came across a portal. Now surely this was it. I mean, the portal even led to a village. But all we could find was this little underground hole. Now that couldn't be their base. We had to have just gotten the location wrong. But after like 10 minutes of searching, we couldn't find anything. But before we gave up and left, Sharkills decided to do one last sweep around the area. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, what is- wait, what's that? Wait. What is this? Wait. <laughs> oh! <laughs> With the location of the base pinpointed, the only thing between me and revenge was one final page of the combat handbook. A checklist. It contained everything that I had worked so hard to get throughout this video. My armor, my swords, even the mushroom soup. And with all of this checked off, I returned to my teammates' base and waited for them to log on. But... they didn't. And after a while of waiting, I received a DM from my teammate, Wilson. What the flip? I don't know what he edited there, but this was bad. Like, really bad. Uh, how can I be unsuspicious as possible? Um, what's up, Wilson? Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. Next time I see you, you're gonna die? Okay, <laughs> thanks for the clarification. Now, obviously, Wilson knew that I had betrayed them. But how? Sharkills and I had been careful not to leave a single trace, meaning the only way he could have found out was if... Oh, Sharkills had uploaded, and don't get me wrong, it was a banger, but... I assume that your end goal here is you're going to- you're going to want to kill Slord and Wilson, I assume. I want you to help me kill them. Dude, I... there's no way. It also revealed all of my plan. <laughs> Basically, the jig was up. Unless... It was, uh, another Debbie Cat common name, you know? <laughs> Alright, I don't think that worked, but not all was lost. If Wilson wanted to fight me, and I wanted to fight Wilson, you know, maybe we could work something out here. So we agreed to have one final duel to settle the beat. Now, I'd fought Wilson before in the past, and gotten completely destroyed. That just meant it would be up to the training I'd been through to see if I could catch a W, and prove that the combat handbook really does work. So we met up at his base, and it was time to to get revenge. Here's the thing. You were supposed to be my teammate, Wilson. But you left me behind. And now, Wilson, now you will die. Alright, let's go. Okay. It, hello, hello? What is that? Okay. Alright. What is that? <laughs> the combat what? handbook has taught me many things. Wilson, get back here. No running for you. <laughs> oh, this is the soul grass. Yes. <laughs> Hey, you are annoying. Ah, I well, thank you. Healing potions, bro. You came prepared. <laughs> I came prepared. Yeah, okay, your fishing rod's not actually working, and I can't get it. There's actually no way you're grabbing yeah, anything. Mine doesn't have a break you want to be me so bad? I prepared for this eventuality, Wilson. Did you see? I actually have a texture pack. This disables the fishing rod, Bobber. 
Yeah, you, I, well, yeah I genuinely do. Speed. Oh my god. You popped. <laughs> and now it's all over for you. Oh my god, that was my last pearl. Oh, that's bad. Lava. Actually, it works. Okay, now that is a problem because I don't have fire resistance. <laughs> Suspicious too much. Okay. Dude, this is so annoying. We're using like the weirdest <laughs> items. My little with. items, bro. Wait, <laughs> there's no way you die here. Oh, you Okay, now that you're fish. Oh, 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 that was so good! That was so good! <laughs> bro got lunch! Oh, you have- bro! Okay. I can't see! And now you're fish, now it's all over for you. And, 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 and the fishing the rod! The uh, fishing uh. rod is so clutch! <laughs> oh, what? What? what is it so good? I think when you jump it like launches you like 20 times farther. No, Yes, bro! Okay. <laughs> I had won. But was it because of the combat handbook? I mean, maybe. Let's be honest, most of the advice was kind of terrible, but I did learn one thing. Fishing rods are so broken. Like, did you see that, bro? This has to become a new meta. I want to see fishing rods dressed everywhere.